At the age of 15, I shifted from my hometown in Wagga Wagga, leaving behind my family, friends, and my home to go to the Australian Ballet School in Melbourne. Each day started at 8 a.m. and finished at 6 p.m. The day was about mastering your technique and developing the art of communicating through movement. Most days our teachers would remind us to ask ourselves a question. Why did we choose to become a ballet dancer? We would experience over the course of the day a range of emotions. We would experience physical pain, hardship, and mental stress and strain. I remember one day in my second year, the director of the Australian Ballet Company was watching class. Within half an hour, I found myself next door, rehearsing for opening night. One of the dancers was injured. I had a three-act ballet to learn. At 8 p.m. that night, the curtain rose. Complete silence, pitch black stage. I stood, a spotlight shone, I slowly lowered down, stood back up, took a bow, and smiled at the conductor to begin. And then I joined the corps de ballet for the rest of the night. That experience showed me what was possible. With a willing body and a ready mind, all you have to do is participate. In order to fully participate, I'd actually been mentally preparing for a year and a half every day from 8 till 6, but I'd only been rehearsing that sequence from 10 a.m. It's interesting when you look at life like this. We have the opportunity to choose our path on a daily basis. In order to fully participate, doesn't matter which path you choose, you need a base of physical conditioning and mental strength and resilience. Think about this for just a second. For every hour we sit, we reduce our life expectancy by 20 minutes. Never mind the list of health risks that you'll now be faced with in your very short life. By 2025, over 85% of Australians will be obese. A third of those are children. One in four youth suffer from depression. How are you currently participating? Because our current approach to life is unsustainable. As parents, we've taken on responsibility for our two children to build a base, to help give them opportunities to find and understand what physical conditioning and mental strength and resilience looks like. I have a daughter 13 and a son 11. We spend our summer holidays in Tasmania, trekking. We've completed the Overland track two years in a row. Pack in, pack out, 65 kilometres, six days, five nights. Our children are learning about the environment, learning what types of food create the most fuel with the least amount of weight and impact. Never mind the enormous self, self, sense of self-reward and self-satisfaction when we successfully complete each year. Encouraging our youth to fully participate, giving them the opportunity to experience physical challenge and hardship, to push through even when around the corner there is yet another hill and you don't think you have the legs. Tomorrow morning, when you wake up, how are you going to participate? How can you participate? The choice is yours. Choose to take an interest in your own physical health and mental well-being. 
Create opportunities for brilliance. Stand up and take back more of your life. We have the capability to be extraordinary. It just depends on how you participate. Thank you.